Hey guys, welcome again. Uh, Antonio here giving you another review on Fox's new show, APB. So let's get right into the recap. Um, there's going to be a lot of spoilers. There's a lot of stuff that actually... There's actually a lot of, a lot of stuff happening in this episode, so there's going to be a lot of spoilers. Um, so let's get started. So um, essentially what happens is this guy, uh, you know... They're still dealing with the whole Gideon took over, and he's going, um, giving them, like, an overview, so, like, the cops got new, we got, um, new, new uniforms, um, which actually look pretty, kind of look like, kind of look like astronaut uniforms, but, um, there's probably more to the uniforms that they didn't discuss, but, anyway, there, uh, Gideon's, uh, speech is interrupted by Ada, who tells, <clears throat> excuse me, who tells him that um you know there's a robbery so they you know pursue they pursue a guy but they and they end up uh they end up losing him so um so they you know they're trying to figure out like who this guy is and whatnot so eventually um they get a break they find the mask that he wore during the um during the robbery and so Brandon Goss you know with uh brand's dog go to follow him so they find the car but it's on fire but before um they can stop the the dog uh gets uh, zinger i believe his the dog's name was zinger i believe he gets hurt because the car explodes so they don't know what's gonna you know so as a dog lover i don't have a dog myself but i i was feeling for you know brand and the and the dog, you know, because that was like, he had, um, we get a little backstory that he, you know, served a couple of chores, and he had, he had dogs, so it's, you know, he was really close to the dog. Um, also, I skipped around a bit. During the first pursuit, a kid gets hurt while Gideon is, uh, riding shotgun with Murphy, and, you know, the lady, you know, tells him, like, so, since he doesn't have a kid, he gets doesn't really understand that this is like the first time they felt safe in a while to um you know go out to the park or whatnot so they thought things were getting better but you know it makes Gideon feel bad so they eventually get some more information through a guy that Murphy knew who sold the who sold the guy the car apparently um the guy's name is Pete and he actually gets off on the car chases so Gideon also acquires a new drone um through one of his <clears throat> one of his contacts. Now I believe Pete's name was the one who made the new drone and he asked Pete to join the task force. So they get into another pursuit with him, but they they're outrun again and even Gideon can't follow him with the new drone because there's no signal down in the um car lot where they were chasing him at so eventually they come up with the uh murphy invites gideon to her house for dinner where he meets her mom and her son and we find out that you know murphy's son is he likes mathematics and then he built this whole entire track or whatever for like cars and motorcycles so when the kid shows Gideon the motorcycle he gets the idea to make motorcycles for the for district 13 to which you know that's why he leaves dinner early so there's still prototypes so but Brandon and Goss come in and since they're both motorcycle experts from their um, specific coast before they were transferred they went in on catching the guy so um they eventually, you know, get on the motorcycles and they they essentially catch they essentially catch the guy. Um, it's really cool. It's really cool chase scene. Um, even Gideon has Brand put his uh, uh, body cam on his, on his back so he can see the the you know see the back of him because the um, motorcycles have a special function where they can lay spike strips. So and that's how they end up catching a guy that was outrunning him, but, you know, Brand's still mad at the dog, is still mad about the whole thing with his dog, um, 
tries to, I guess, get closer, but they, t you know, tell him to stand down, because I think it was going to be more than just giving him, you know, the taser. So, um, but la later on before this, we, I'm sorry that, I'm sorry that I'm skipping around, guys. There's just a lot happened, and it's kind of hard to, like, keep my thoughts cohesive. Um, so, Zinger is going to survive, but he's going to lose his leg, but towards like the end of the episode you see that he went to the shelter and he couldn't find you know Zinger so but it turns out that Gideon picked up picked him up and gave him a robotic leg because you know he wants you he wants to help the task force in general so you know keeping the dog in the forest would keep you know brand happy and all that so eventually um we get to the end where Murphy is talking with her, her husband, you know, she's picking up her son and whatnot, and he was said, like, hey, I've been trying to call you and whatnot, and I guess he's a little bit jealous of Gideon, so, you know, because she got promoted so fast, and he thought something's going on there, and she was like, are you serious, bro? Like, he's just my boss. So he asked her to, you know, do transfer papers and she's like no and he's like well because the mayor is putting up a task force to look into district 13 and then it ends with him saying that oh and I'm the leader of the task force so yeah a lot happened in this episode we got some new tech for the district um we got future troubles brewing for district 13 and you know a lot of you know, cool stuff. I'm really liking the APV so far. I hope you guys are too. Um, if you like what I have to say, feel free to give this video a like. Or, you know, if you like what I have to say or need more reviews on APB, be sure to su subscribe to me as well. And with that, guys, we'll see you in the next video. This is Antonio signing off.